Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Speed Build Monday. I know, my schedule is super off right now. If you pay attention to, like, when I normally upload and this past week, you will see that I've only uploaded two things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Life has been so busy lately with school and work because... With winter time, it's picking up and I'm working like 40 hours. And I'm dating somebody and I'll talk about him some more, but yeah, it's been crazy. I've, I sometimes go to bed now without washing my face, <laughs> but it's a part of life. It'll be fine. Hopefully I can get a into a groove where I can still pump out videos while doing everything. I can do it all. Anyways, how are you guys today? I hope you guys are doing good. I am. I have some stories to tell you. Oh, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving because last time I talked to you, I think Thanksgiving just happened and I do have some stories about like Thanksgiving. Because that was a time at my house. Not not because of like regular Thanksgiving, but because of Friendsgiving. But I lump it into the same category because it's basically the same thing. You're giving thanks for your friends. And then one day you're giving thanks for your family. And, ooh, okay, let me just hop straight into my stories. Or should I talk, you know what, I'm going to talk about the build for a second. So this build, I needed to pump something out really quickly because I was like I need to get something done because I was working on a big build like a really big mansion build and if you don't know mansions take forever no not even forever five ever that's bigger than four they take five ever to build because you have a whole bunch of rooms you have a lot to decorate yeah so I was working on it and I was my goal was to get it out in time for Sunday the mansion and then like Friday rolled around and I was like, I don't even have most of the first four done. So then I told myself, I'm just gonna quickly pump out a build. So I wanted an apartment and to work in the new Get Famous pack, I decided to make like a struggling artist apartment. And artist is, that word can be used to describe anyone and everyone. So I decided that this was a couple who lives in this apartment. This is the like backstory I created. There's a couple that lives in this apartment and one of them is like an actual artist who paints and the other one's like a struggling actor. And they're like young adults, they don't have kids yet. I don't, there's room for a dog. You just have to put a dog bowl in like a little doggy bed or cat if you want a cat. I almost put a doggy bed, but I don't like putting doggy stuff in, or pet stuff in there because I don't know who who's gonna download this. I don't know if they have pets. And that's like an easy addition if you want to add pet stuff. But yeah, so this furniture is very mismatched because I was looking at it and I was thinking they probably being struggling got some of the stuff at a flea market or got some of the stuff at like an estate sale or a yard sale so some of the furniture doesn't match the rest um what else is going on it's very colorful because again one of them's like an artist with a paintbrush and I there's this like loophole I guess you would call it in the gallery you can open it up and if you want to find paintings you can find paintings in there and you can use it in your build and that's exactly what I did because there's a whole lot, there's a, there's a whole new world, uh, sorry, of paintings that you could just use to decorate with. So this place has wall art all over the place. There's movie posters on the floor. There's actual like paintings on the walls and sometimes on the floor. All the... I'm, this was my like mental process, and this is what I was thinking when I was building. I was thinking that like all the movie posters are, of course, like 
the actor who, and I'm, I always assume that she was a female, like the actor is a female and the painter is a male, or you can have two males or two females, but when I was building it, this was like the, the imaginary people in my head. And the female, or the woman, those are all the movies she's been in, or those are movies that she's really liked, and they've all been like, not A-list work, you know, they're not like high-end movie, they're all funded by Indiegogo, and campaigns, and stuff like that, like she's never really made it big, that's why they're still struggling, but she's been in a lot of movies, all very low budget, but it doesn't matter. She's getting work. That's what's important. And him, I don't know what he's doing with his art, actually. I didn't think that much about it, because I know more about the movie industry than I do, like, artists and how the art world works. Yeah. And that's what that's how I came up with this. Hope you guys like it. Anyways, I have a story now, or story. You know what? I'm going to try to fit two stories, but we'll see. So, I had a, a regular Thanksgiving. Everything was fine. My grandma came over. It was pretty standard. We had ate lunch, and then, like, no joke, right after lunch, we put all the dishes away and then took out all the Christmas stuff. So, my house has been decorated for Christmas since Thanksgiving. Actually, the day after Thanksgiving, because it takes two days in my house to decorate for Christmas. We have a lot of stuff. Oh, here's the art that I was telling you about that you can download off the gallery. It's a lot of fun. I packed a lot of stuff in here. And so that was normal. And then I had friends giving at my house. And I only invited, including myself, eight people. And that was mostly my squad. Like, my squad and me. And so I was at work. And a coworker came up to me. Let's name her Cynthia. So Cynthia came up to me at, in front of people at work. I, Cynthia is not a part of my squad. And so Cynthia came up to me. She goes, hey, Dylan. And I said, hey, Cynthia. She said, I heard you're having a Friendsgiving. And I said, yes. And she looked at me and she said, in front of people, am I invited? And first of all, that's rude. That is so rude. So of course, uh, me being myself, I looked at her and I said, no, because she wasn't invited or else I would have invited her. And so then she left and I felt really bad. So I wanted to like talk to her and I wanted to, so I talked to her later at work and I said, hey, Cynthia, I just want to make sure that there's no hard feelings. I don't want any beef between us because I think you're kind of a friend, like, we're nice, we talk to each other. And she said, no, no, we're, I'm fine, we're, I was just kidding earlier. And I was like, okay, everything's fine. Plot twist, no, it wasn't. And I was a, oh, I had Friendsgiving, everything went splendid. Dinner was delicious, we all brought something, it was fun. And then, the next day, I went to work. And Cynthia was talking so much shit about me. It was so unreal. Because I thought we were okay, right? I thought we were okay. Like, she told me I was just kidding. We are fine. And I believed her. But apparently it wasn't fine. Because I came to work the next day and she was in the back just talking shit. The entire shift. Like, she was talking about how I'm fake and how I can't be trusted and how, um, what was it? She was going over my guest list, which again, was only like seven people, not including myself, eight including me. And she was like, oh, why did he even invite that person? Because that person isn't even his friend. I'm more of a friend than he is. And it was so bad and very unnecessary. The entire situation could have, should not have happened. It was ridiculous, and it made me very angry. And I was like, okay, if she wants to be a child about this, I guess she's like 19, 18, 19, so she's gonna act out like a child normally does, because when you're that age, you're still a child. And I was like, just water off a duck's back, it's fine. If 
I'm not gonna like confront her about it because she knows what she's doing is probably wrong. But if she doesn't want to stop, that's on her. I'm not gonna stoop down to her level. Like Michelle Obama says, when they go low, we go high. <laughs> and I I was fine. I was like, she and she's still at work does is not the same with me. She does not talk to me the same the same way. She le she leaves me alone behind the counter. She tries to avoid talking to me if po ever possible. And apparently, when it rains, it pours. Because right after my friend's giving, I found out from many sources and different people that she's been going around spreading gossip about people and spreading rumors. And that, that's just un unsettling to me. Because these are people that you work with. You're stuck with them, at least in my situation, 40 hours a week. You cannot escape them. Okay, it's not like you can go to work and then hide out in the bathroom for eight hours. No. So you have to work with them. Why would you purposefully go out of your way to make people not like you and make it harder on you at work? It doesn't make sense to me. It's just so ridiculous. And then I've had coworkers come up to me. Not even, they haven't come up to me. I've suck this out of them. There's this one girl at work. I'm going to name her Mariah. Mariah came up to me and she told, no, she didn't even come up to me. She was feeling sad. Like I can tell when a person's sad because I'm a human and I am in touch with other people's emotions. And so I was like, Hey Mariah, how are you? And I could tell she was sad. What did I name her? I forgot what I named the first one. It was Mariah and... Cynthia, of course, Cynthia. And she said, oh, Cynthia's been talking shit about me. And, or no, she said, didn't you hear Cynthia's been talking shit about me? And I said, yeah, I know, but I heard that the situation went like this. Cynthia tried to stir up the pot between Mariah and another coworker of mine, Catalina. And so... Catalina went up to Mariah and said, Hey, this is what the Cynthia's saying about you. Is this true? And they talked about it and everything was good. But it, it has been come excuse me, I'm getting too excited about this. It has become so horrible at work that M Mariah feels like she's being talked behind her back by everybody. And so I hugged her and told her it's okay. You're fine. And she talks shit about everyone and She's even talked shit about me. And she said, oh, okay. And I told her, if I ever hear anyone talking shit about you, I will let you know because you're a good person. It's just really bad at work right now. I'll keep you guys updated. And I'm getting close to, to the end of the video. Let me know what you think of this build. I did not put this up on the gallery because I don't like putting ga er, apartments up on the gallery. Let me know what you think of this. If you want to see it in the gallery, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see me do any challenge or end build anything, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If you want to create anything for any of my series, feel free to do so and tag it in the gallery with the hashtag DillySims. Like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things, and I'll catch all of you guys next time. Bye, everybody.